What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight? Well, this your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is my post fight thoughts on Daniel the Miracle Man Jacobs going up against Gabe Rosado. You know, the 12 round fight on the zone. And we all seen the build up to the fight. You know, a lot of trash talking. Them bumping it to each other when, when Jacobs took on Chavez. You know what I mean? And, you know, looking at the press conference, I thought myself, knowing both of these fighters, I thought they was going to go out there and give us a fan-friendly fight. You know what I mean? I really did thought it was going to be fan-friendly, man. You know, they go toe-to-toe -to -toe after the sixth or seventh round to where somebody was going to sleep. I really seen this fight. I thought it wouldn't go past seven or eight rounds. You know, but it was totally different than that. They went out there and they tried to have a, 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 a chess match. You know what I'm saying? Gabe, um, you know, he linked up with Freddie Roach now. So Freddie kind of, um, you know, well, I was going to say, how how can I put it? Freddie kind of, you know, made Gabe think more. Let's just say that he made him think more and don't just go balls to the walls like he usually do. You know what I mean? And I said that in my in my um in my fight, my prediction fight, you know. I said Freddie can add some resistance on Gabe where he, you know what I'm saying, don't go out there and try to just be go crazy, you know what I'm saying? Have some type of strategy, have some type of game plan. Cause usually in Gabe fights he go out there, he just try to bang it out, out dog the motherfucker, and he end up getting busted open and you know that Philly grit come out of him where he can't help himself and he just wanna fight. But in this fight, you know, going up against Jacobs, a a, a boxer puncher. You know, Gabe, he was boxing more. You know what I'm saying? He was doing good. You feel me? He was doing good. He, he had a nice little game plan going. But to me, I thought Jacobs was, you know, land of the cleaner shots. Even though Gabe was boxing, you know, they pushed each other back some of the times. So sometimes, but they kept, like, at the end of the rounds, they kept look like they was going to heat up. And they was heating up at the end of the rounds before the bill every time. And I'm thinking they're going to come out of the next round and go at it. But they get back to the same, you know, boxing game. And, uh... You know, it was a chess match, man. It was a chess match. Something was different in Gabe. You know, a lot of people never seen that in him. And, you know, it, I was kind of happy for the kid. I was happy for the kid. He didn't go out there and go balls to the walls. And you see that Freddie Roach, you know, can can work with him and make him better. You know what I'm saying? But with Danny, Danny, we, we was expecting more out of Danny Jacobs. I was expecting more out of Danny Jacobs. I would say that. And I know he's expecting more out of himself for us a him, him knowing what he can do in the ring. And I do believe Denny can do way more than what he did in the ring, just to be real. You know what I'm saying? Just to be real. But overall, you know, when we came down to it, they was in there going back and forth. Close fight in my opinion as well. Could have went either way. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really nothing to ooh, are you about or nobody never really took, took control to the point where you're like, oh, he racked up that many rounds. He racked up that many rounds. You know what I'm saying? So what I have to do, I have to go back and watch it over to give a real fair assessment. You know what I mean? But I was okay with the outcome. You feel me? I was okay with Danny Jacobs winning 115-113. Or well, I would have been okay with a draw. You feel me? But coming out to the championship rounds, you know, it did look like Danny was 111, but I thought he won the 12th as well. And, and that could have been a deciding decision the 12th round. Gabe could have won the 11. It could have went back and forth. That's why I said I got to watch it over because I was streaming the fight. But I know that 12th round I gave it to Danny clearly. I gave it to Danny. I thought he did more. I thought he pressed the, um, the issue. Gabe could have did a little bit more. Maybe could have made it a draw. But overall, Danny getting a um, 115, 113. That wasn't a bad call. You had somebody, I mean, one judge had it a draw. One card to, um, no, no, I'm sorry. Two cards to Danny, one card to um, Gabe. You know what I'm saying? So it was tight. It was close. And I'm not pissed off. I don't want to hear nobody talking about no robbery or shit like that. Like, cut it out. It's not a damn robbery. It was a good fight. Could have went either way. If Gabe would have got it, I wouldn't have been pissed off. If Danny got it, I wouldn't have been pissed off. If it was a draw, I wouldn't have been pissed off. You feel me? But don't get the screaming robbery. And and, and, and Gabe, I said it in, when I was streaming the fight. I said, if, if Gabe loses this fight, it's going to be a fight that he going to say he thought he lost. And I went pissed. I mean, he thought he won. You feel me? And he got a case to, a case to plead. So, at the end of the day... It wasn't the best Danny Jacobs. Good fight for um, um, Gabe Rosado. You know what I'm saying? He went out there and showed that he can still bang and stick around and get more fights. You know, people say, oh, journeyman time, this, that, and third. I won't say journeyman time. I just say 
fighters coming up. You feel me? Gabe get in the ring with their ass. See if they can beat Gabe. You know, Gabe might whoop their ass. I ain't gonna look at Gabe as a journeyman. You know what I mean? So when we look at the whole situation, though, Gabe, his, his stock rises a little bit. You know what I'm saying? His stock rises a little bit. Like I say, that, that even though he took an L, you know, it could have been a draw, but going in there and hanging with Danny Jacobs like that, you feel me, showing the game plan, and like I say, having Freddie Roach in the corner, he's going to get some phone calls. You feel me? He's going to get some phone calls. You know what I mean? Like I say, sometimes when you lose, dog, you win. Sometimes when you lose, you win. You know, I know Gabe pissed off. He feel like he won a fight. Nothing, nothing is better than having a W on your record. Let's let's get that understood. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is better than having a W on your record. You know, that's for bragging purposes. That's come with the hard work, the sweat, the dedication. You know what I mean? I even saw Danny Jacobs. I think he was telling Gabe, shut the hell up at the end. Like, shut the hell up. You know what I mean? So, when we look at the situation, I can see why Gabe was a little furious. You know what I'm saying? But I still think the um, announcer, he just slipped up and said Philadelphia. I don't think he did it intentionally. You know what I mean? I think he did try to say Brooklyn, New York. But I think he slipped up and said Philadelphia. Maybe it was on his mind. Things happen like that, man. Things happen like that. We all him. We all make mistakes. But when you look at it, he corrected it quickly. He corrected it quickly. You know what I'm saying? But Gay was already celebrating. And I'm like, damn. And when I was streaming the fight, I had the mute on. So, you know, do my thing on Instagram. So I had the mute on. So when I seen him raise Gay's hand, I'm like, oh, my God. Gay got him. Gay straight got him. And then I seen him hugging him. And then I'm like, what the hell going on? You know, everybody not looking like, what's going on? Then we see him come back. He grabbed Danny Jacobs' hand to put it up. I'm like, did they just overturn that decision? I'm like, what just happened? To where I had to turn the volume. I'm like, hold on, I got to turn this volume up to see what just happened, dog. And that's when I had seen what happened. I'm like, oh, man. They didn't drop the ball, you feel me? But at the end of the day, the match, you know, I ain't going to say it was a, 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 a bum badge like everybody else slammed it down, you know what I mean? I just seen two dudes trying to be tactical. You know, they could have gave us a little bit more. That's a fact. But sometimes shit happened in boxing. When you're having a chess match like that, and when, you know, somebody don't want to engage or get hurt, or in Danny Jacob's case, feeling like he winning probably. In Gabe's case, he feel like he winning. So I was like, let me stick to the game plan. You know what I'm saying? If you find something that's working in boxing, stick it to the game plan. I'm not pissed off. You know what I'm saying? I'm not pissed off. Like I said, I like a, I like a boxing match. I like a boxing match. Like I say, for Gabe, it was something different. And I wanted to see, could he, like, man, this Gabe, Gabe ain't going to say like this the whole fight. I'm like, I know he ain't going to say like this the whole fight. He going to switch it up and go forward pretty soon. Because I seen some, some, I think, I forgot what round it was, where I seen Danny Jacobs start tagging him a little bit. I'm like, oh, shit, Gabe for the come now. He for the come, you know. But he stuck to the game plan, man. That's credit to Freddie Roach. Calming him down, like I say, helping him out with a little defense. And, and it worked for him, dog. It worked for him. Like I say, he didn't get the nod. But at the end of the day, it wasn't a bad performance from him. You know, like I say, I, I heard a lot of people bashing the fight. You know, I seen Earl say, what the hell is Danny doing? Um, um, Tfimo Lopez, you know, he gonna say some stupid shit. Oh, this shit was trash, like he calling it trash. But at the end of the day, dog, they fighting. You feel me? They fighting. It's boxing. You're not gonna always get what you want in boxing. Sometimes the fight you, you expect to happen, it doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't happen. So. When we look at the whole situation, now we got to accept the good with the good, the bad with the bad. And I respected the fight. Like I say, it was close. I was seeing the tactical side of both dudes trying to go in there and, uh, you know, not give up too much ground, but at the same time try to impose their game plan on each other. You feel me? Which, which was okay with me. Like I say, I felt like Danny Jacobs could have gave us more. I feel like he could have pressed the action more to make Gabe fight. And vice versa, Gabe probably could have gave a little more too. But like I said, once you got game plans, you stick to them, dog. You stick to them. Now, when we're looking at the where they go from here, you know, Benny Jacobs at 168, you know, he he, he got to settle in at 168 if he go be up there. You got to show a little bit more and show that you can still be aggressive like you was at 160. Because at 168, them boys are bigger and stronger. You know what I'm saying? They're bigger and stronger. If you're going there, if you couldn't hold Gray Rosado and people looking at that, they're going to look at you like, oh, his power didn't carry up. You know, you go get criticized because a lot of people waiting to criticize you already. Some people think you lost. You feel me? Some people saying Danny washed up, things of that nature, which is absolutely absurd. I didn't see a washed up Danny in the ring. Like, when it comes to boxing, you got to keep it real about boxing, bro. You got to take the feelings out the situation. Really, you got to take the feelings out the situation, especially when you give an assessment of fighters. To say Danny is washed up, nah. Nah, that's, that's, that's not true at all. You know, he went in there. Gabe just had a new, different, found motivation. Like I say, when you fight somebody that's been wanting to fight all your life, 
you go get that type of motivation. Or you feel like you got beef for somebody or things of that nature, or you understand this fight can take you to a certain position, you're gonna come in in the best shape of your life, you'll come in and do what you gotta do. And that's what Gabe did, he came in, I ain't gonna say he was in the best shape of his life, but he's in good shape. But he came in and he, had, he did what he had to do to try to secure the victory and try to move on with a, with a win over Danny Jacobs, that really would've put him in a great position. But like I say, even with that kind of loss, it still put him in a great position. Because now people are looking at it like, okay, Gary Rosado, you know, he can go in there and give us some rounds. He can give us some rounds. So at the end of the day, let's call him up. If we if, if a fight fall through or we need a fight that, you know what I'm saying, that's credible with a credible opponent, you know, Gabe is the man. Gabe is the man. That's more paychecks for Gabe. You feel me? And still try to become world champion in the process. Keep the hunger. You know what I'm, saying? I'm not saying lose the hunger. You know what I mean? But they, they could have gave us a little more. But like I say, where they go from here, Danny Jacobs, We'll see, dog. His name, he's still a former world champion and shit like that. So we'll see what happened with him and his situation. Um, he in a good position with his own. You know, they, they getting them good fights. Even this was a cool fight. Like, Danny Jacobs, he's been getting a good fight. You can't deny that. That's something you can't deny. And with Gary Rosario, you know, like I said, he put himself in a position to get more phone calls. Because just think, if Danny would have went out there and not gave battle in this fight, if he would have went out there and not gave battle in this fight, bro, y'all got to understand, that probably would have been the end of him in big fights. Even with Freddie Roach in his corner, it probably would have been the end of, end of him in big fights. So he had to come out here and prove something and show that he can show that he can um, put up some resistance, he can win some rounds, and he can still hang with the top guys, you know, for him to be competitive against whomever coming up or whomever may choose him uh, for a fight. You feel me? So, like I say, he still put himself in a good position even though he lost the fight. You know what I mean? Even though he lost the fight. Like I say, he got the, he got the right to say, man, I won that fight. I won that fight. It was a close fight. So he got the right to say, I felt like I won that fight. You know? And that's what's going to keep him afloat. You feel me? But at the end of the day, man, I liked it, the fight. I'm not going to shit on it. It was okay. Like I said, I'm going to go back and watch it over. And I'm going to really give y'all my assessment of it after I watch it over. I'm going to come back. Because it was a little controversial. But we'll see the situation and how it really played out. You dig? But at the end of the day, both fighters get to go home to their family safe and sound. They both get to fight again. You know, one man won, one man lost us to where it should be in boxing. I don't really like draws, you know. And we'll see where they go from here, man. Both of them still in, in good position. Let's say that. They both in st they still they both still in good position. Maybe not with the fans' perspective, but on the business side of boxing, they're in a good position. And we'll just see what happens from, from her. But I wish both of them nothing but good luck, dog. You feel me? Until then, it's your boy Money. This is the ANSBC moving ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. Trayhappen52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If you can't, just tell a friend and tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. And y'all know what it is, man. Big dog status. Brush it off with the pain there. Uh -huh. Our only death is my main fear. Overdosing on these pain kills. Some wounds just can't heal. Can't heal.